update of what I've been doing for spring break. I was having trouble and I just wasn't happy with my outer loop being the uh, Atlas 22 inch. So I instead uh, essentially am tearing up all of the track and I'm going to be replacing it with, um, with a Kado on track. And this is where I'm at so far. The, the um, tunnel there in the corner was the biggest uh, obstacle, making sure that the uh, track I have going through there would actually make that curve. So right now my outer loop, instead of being 22, is now uh, 24, which is why if you notice on the original track bed here, you can see where my inner loop is essentially gonna be almost where the um, outer loop used to be. And I've actually moved the station over um, about an inch. So here is my progress right now. I've got a, uh, a pair of switches right here so that I can move from the inner loop out to the outer loop. Right now they're manual, just so that I can see how things work. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with the bridge back there, but clearly the bridge is being moved back by at least uh, four inches. And then I'm gonna put a turn a, a, um, a pair of switches over there in that corner so that I can move back out. So essentially my idea is a train on the outer loop can then switch to the inner loop come around the corner here, stop at the station, and then afterwards go through another pair of switches back out to the outer loop. And while it's doing that, I can park a freight train essentially where that uh, Northwestern is, just on the outside where the track used to be. And then once the switchover is taking place, the freight train can move on and the passenger will stay on the outside. So it's gonna take some time the Cotto track is not all that uh, cheap, but it's running perfectly. So this engine, now I'm able to put it on the track. It has no issues going this direction. I Where did it always go? It looks like he's gonna stop. It kind of does. Like, is he gonna be off the track? No, he's gonna be good. I hope he isn't going to come off the rail. Okay. 
So it's finally finished. The 24 inch outer rim that will successfully go through the tunnel, circle back around. I finally have no more derailing, no more kinks. Both engines go both directions around the table. Both engines can go forward and back both directions around the table. I've had it running for at least an hour now. Flipped the engine around, went the other direction. I finally believe that I am ready to take a break and just save up on getting the Kato track for the inner loop. And let that be the next stage of uh, this upgrade. Once I get the inner loop situated, we'll be ready for DCC. And once that's situated, then we'll start switching out some of the buildings, get some trees, some people, and all kinds of other fun stuff going on within the table. It's been a very productive spring break. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of my Marks and Lionel, as well as continuing to work with and upgrade this table. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed.